Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to my quarterfinal match against Moneybags with his Lizardman team. Um, so, I wasn't down much TV in this. I, I didn't get a... I didn't get to induce anything. I was thinking about inducing um, something for this game. <laughs> I was thinking about in oh, inducing an apple. That's right. I, I, so I was down TV. I got a, I got an apothecary. Um, I was thinking about getting a journeyman um, runner or something because my runner was missed next game um, in the game against the Wood Elves. But instead, I brought I bought one called Practice Match <laughs> because Moneybags played a practice match between our two teams, and uh, fake Jim wasn't as good as real Jim. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at his team. He's got a stand firm guard Crocs, quite nice. Lots of mighty blow. Four mighty blow Saurus. Um, three guard, a Pom Saurus. Um, two, three rookie skinks. A, a bit of a kind of one turny skink and a super skink here. Bludge, stand firm, bludge, sure hands, sidestep agility four. Absolute perfect wonder skink there outrageous skink he has um, he won the toss and chose to kick which I'm not sure is the right call because this game is going to be decided in my opinion I thought the game was going to be decided by who got the armor breaks Kaz early and who was able to uh, you know snowball one way or the other because I can't stop him getting hits although he's you know he's only got three guard I've got one two three four five six seven I've got seven guard so I do have, I do have, you know, three more guard than him, um, because the Crocs has got it as well. We've got the same amount of piling on Mighty Blow, and uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five Mighty Blow, and I've got one, two, three, four Mighty Blow. So he's actually got more Mighty Blow than me, and uh, he's got so much more strength that makes up for his lack of guard. So it was a pretty, pretty scary prospect this one. This was, you know, if if I could, if if either of us could get early removals. It, it had the potential. I mean, I had to get them really to be able to, to stand toe to toe with him. Um, whereas if he got them, it could it could turn into a rout. So I, I was a bit surprised that he chose to uh, kick. Maybe he was influenced by his practice game. Who we'll never know. Um, holding the flanks here with the uh, blitzers. Maybe I shouldn't have done. I uh, realise now. Well, during the match, I realised I probably should have held the flanks with the uh, long beards, because you know the skinks only being agility three for the most part can't really dodge through long beard tackle zones very well. Get out of range of the uh, of the skinks there, basing me. <laughs> I don't know if I needed to do that or not. Classic one dice blitz, good old dwarf. Um, yeah, so maybe they should they should have been long beards here holding the sides and. I thought this might encourage him to try and pressure the ball, which you know exposes skinks. Um, so there you go. So he gets the, he gets the. <laughs> I was pretty. <laughs> you can imagine how I wasn't so happy at this point that I have made, you know, my LOS blocks, you know, engineered more blocks out of them, you know, and then get the three knockdowns. Nothing. He makes a blitz. Gets <laughs> gets a cast. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Um, so, yeah. I, <laughs> that was not, not an ideal start. But I mean, he, he did tag this guy, which is good for me. Maybe. Movement 6. Movement 6, Saurus, is ridiculous. So he's done. I mean, I did watch his practice match. And in, in the practice. <laughs> yeah, I did stars, yeah. <laughs> I did I was I was unhappy about that Kaz. Like I have just knocked down three players, done nothing. He knocks down one and get a Kaz. It was pretty that was a pretty rough start in a game that was all about removing armor nine. I was pretty pretty bad. I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't use this apple because it was only a guard guy. Um but you know I thought since it's guaranteed to work, I expected him to make more removals. I don't know if he forgot um jump up here, but one, two, three, four, five is pretty much in range, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, like he puts pressure on a bit, but I, he doesn't have stand firm here, so I, I can I can knock him over here, and like if if I hadn't knocked him over, I would have blitzed with the troll slayer. Um, 
to make sure of knocking him over, but he gives away a mighty blow hit for no reason and gets KO'd, so he, he can't even complain about that. That was that was pretty much just poor play on his part that that happened. <laughs> um, you know, not not tagging other things. If this guy had tagged one of those, I couldn't have made a made a cage so easily. And obviously, so now seeing as I've made the cage and the ball's safe, we'll make the cheeky GFI to try and get this guy with tackle piling on mighty blow against Nama Seven Stunty. Pretty good. And get the cars. So that's his apple gone on turn two. <laughs> insta insta apple there, obviously. Whatever the whatever the injury was, you would have appled it. So that's good. That um, and then I I don't obviously hit here. But just because I think I've got stand firm and that he, it was a bit horrible. I'm going to get hit by mighty blow here. And look, he, he's starting the turn with three mighty blow hits that I can't stop. So I couldn't. This is this was the problem with this game. I just couldn't stop him getting mighty blow hits in. Yeah, removing his two best players on turn two is pretty good. And one, in both of them, he one he one he gave a block away for no reason, and one he exposed for no reason. So he can't really complain too much about that. Um, look at this this dodge guy being amazing. <laughs> he runs around to get a three dice, and still doesn't budge him. <laughs> what an amazing dwarf. Maybe I should have uh, not stood firm in the last one, but I was having fun stand firming, so <laughs> so carried on doing it. Make a bit of a risky, uh, bit of a risky play here, I think. Caging in contact with this guy because I really kind of need to get the knockdown here, or at least a push. But I kind of feel like I have to play a little bit risky just because he has got that much strength and everything. I don't think it would have mattered too much if I had knocked him. Like I, I instinctively re-rolled it, but I'm not sure I had to. Like I don't, I don't, I don't hate the re-roll, but um, what what would he have done? He would have, he could have blocked. He could have blocked him to get him in there. See, because there's two assists, so it wouldn't have been easy. You'd have had to block here and then block here, bring a guy around block him and he couldn't push him so I don't think I was actually giving up the ball at all he would have had to come in this way wouldn't he so it, it probably wouldn't have even uh, given up the ball if I hadn't knocked him over but I should use the reroll make it, make it safe and then go for the 3 plus dodge just because you know why not it's better than getting hit on 2 dice by mighty blow <laughs> dodge dodge doing things again <laughs> <laughs> Worth his weight in gold this game so far, the dodge guy. He finally gets him. And then he runs around here. Can't base the ball because of stand firm. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I probably didn't need to re-roll that there. I mean, it was okay re-rolling. Obviously, it's a hit with Mighty Blow, but um, I don't like... I really don't like using re-rolls. <laughs> Break tackles away. So here, I think... I feel like there's a bit of an opportunity to... Uh, to hit the troll, uh, to hit the troll, the crocs, because obviously he's 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 defenseless, isn't he? Uh, you know, he's, he doesn't have block. All the other big guys have block. He doesn't have block, so he's kind of defenseless. So obviously I'm going to go in for the palm hit on him, just for more chance of it working. And then also, with the guard guys and stand firm, I can maybe survive the hits a little bit. I don't really think through the positioning in the cage here. Um, <laughs> I move him and then I think, oh, I haven't got enough. And there's a bit of thinking about, do I need to knock this guy over? This is good, but if I don't knock him over, it's not good. So I move there, and then I think, well, then I'm then too far forward. So in the end, I think, look, I'm going to knock him over. And obviously, I've got a guard here, so that even if I push him, I would get another. If I fail Dauntless, I'd get two dice. And if I if he doesn't use stand firm, I would have still got two dice in the second one as well. So I set that up quite well to get the hit. Panning on does nothing. I mean, obviously, 
it's it is armor nine. It's not going to work every time. And obviously jump up, jump up on the troll slayer. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to make the pile on every single turn with the troll slayer. <laughs> So he's pro he's protecting his kings now. Anyway, he's learned his lesson after his initial <laughs> initial crazy surge. Um, you know, using the using the Saurus to protect the skinks now. But getting these guards in has been pretty good, I think. Stand firm. Just it's just good, isn't it? It's just good. Stand firm. He does get the pal. But no AV break. And then there's a lot to think about here. I think if I make the blitz with a troll slayer, it's a bit of a frenzy trap. Um I don't want to waste my blitz with it on him, seeing as I can just block him as well. So was, maybe that was a bit wrong to do the one dice there. Um but I figure if I push him, I can get a better blitz from the troll slayer, because if I push him, then the guard's coming in here. If he, if he doesn't stand firm, the guard's coming in here. And I can block him, and then the troll slayer can blitz. Or if I do, if I if I if I just get a push, and he does stand firm, then I can use the blitz or jump up block. But I didn't I didn't want to risk a three plus jump up block. But I also didn't want to waste the blitz on somebody I could block. So that, maybe that was a bit greedy. Maybe it was a bit wrong. But um, there you go. And obviously now now a push there would have made the blitz a lot better. And now this makes the blitz perfect because it's two dice into two dice. Even if, even if Dauntless is a failure, which it isn't, and he gets a Kaz, Dirty Dingo, the luxury player finally, finally being worth his money. So now, I mean, that's that's huge now, isn't it? Down, he's down, what a turn that was. Kaz there and two KOs. It's now he's really looking up shit creek a little bit because he just can't protect his skinks. And he can't protect his Saurus. He can never protect his Saurus. So now you imagine he's going to get teed off on a little bit. But I'm still, I'm still protecting the ball. Well, I'm protecting the ball and the Troll Slayer at the same time. But I still can't stop him getting two nice mighty blow blitzers, can I? Despite having this ridiculous player advantage already, cannot stop him getting two dice blocks in with mighty blow. So had it happened that he had he had kicked that I had kicked to him and he had made these removals on me, I think there'd be no coming back for me. Um he's still kind of in with a shot at this point. But obviously. Um And I'm kinda of running out of time, but then at movement seven, so it's it's not really an issue. I made I made a few I made a few one dices. I could have pushed him there and then tried to surf him. I was thinking about that, but then I thought, look, <laughs> I'm gonna fail the surf if I go for it. <laughs> if I could be serious for a minute, I'm just gonna fail if I go for the surf. So I I could have set it up differently and maybe tried for the surf, but I thought let let's just be uh, let's just become. I'm relying on the dauntless here, aren't I? Um, on both blocks. But then both times, if the Dauntless fails, it's still a one die, so it's okay to go for it, I think. Get a KO. Brutal. Don't even need to pile on. The bad thing is, it does mean that the Troll Slayer is going to get blitzed. Um. <laughs> That's the best thing about piling on is defensively it stops your guy getting blitzed. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, but your piling on guy gets fouled. Well, the alternative is he gets hit by a mighty blow and then fouled, <laughs> isn't it? And now, not being able to pile on there. I mean, I could have piled on, but I didn't think it was a good idea. He does get hit by a mighty blow. Armor 8. Scary. Thank God. Thank God he survived. Could I have surfed him here? No, I don't think so. But he uh, he abandoned this. He, he he defended this quite heavily, but he abandoned over this side, didn't he? So I was able to I was able to swing through here. Could have blitzed with him, but I wanted to blitz with Mighty Blow <laughs> because of of course I did. Boo. 
That was a horrible push as well. I, I, you know, I, it would have been better to have blitz blitz with him. It really would have done, but I just I was a bit greedy there, blitzing with ninety four. Failed the first GFI. Standard. Have to have to mo have to make some two pluses. Yeah, but he was protecting the skinks, wasn't he? He could have exposed the skinks more and uh, and protected the middle pole. But yeah, it was hard for him to protect it with uh, with so few saurus. And then uh, this runner now has to make GFIs of his life to shut down the two dice on the ball. The really easy two dice on the ball with the saurus dodge. And luckily enough, I made it. So now it's uh, he could and he could still dodge around and get a one die. No, he couldn't. No, now he's now he's fucked. <laughs> but yeah, okay, that was maybe it was a bit harsh there saying that he left that side on because he did only have three swords. Yeah, true. He's down so many players. He he couldn't defend there, could he? Good point, Jehani. And I was maybe it's a bit harsh there. Well, not maybe it was a bit harsh. <laughs> Death. That was pretty harsh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, more, some more mighty blow hits. I mean, obviously I'm going to take these just because they can have an impact on the rest of the match. If it was turn 16, I wouldn't have made these blocks, but turn 8, you've got to make these two dice blocks every day, haven't you, to try and get um, to try to get more of an advantage for the second half. I wish I could have hit with the Troll Slayer, but there's no way in hell I'm going to make a GFI. So he, he well, I mean, hit the skink, sorry, hit the skink, but he can hit him, can't he? Which is fine. Again, wouldn't have mattered if he'd failed Daunt Dauntless. Two assists. Cheeky pylon. I mean, I have been able to, like, although he's got a lot removed. I have been hitting with a lot with piling on Mighty Blow, and he, he didn't. He got his removed straight away, didn't he? Which was obviously lucky by me, but there you go. There you go. What a, what a half that was. In, insane half there, wasn't it? Just absolutely beat the crap out of him. And, you know, at the time, I remember saying, he hasn't been doing anything wrong. He's just uh, he's just had his armor 9 break a hell of a lot against Mighty Blow, and I haven't had my armor 9 break. However, he did he did give up that block. Um, this one, he gave this up for no reason and he gave up this hit for no reason so two, two of those guys were kind of his fault, although he was still unlucky to be uh, to get the results that he got from them so now he really needs these two back for the second half and even, even if he gets them back it's going to be rough, isn't it? you'd have 10 10 versus 11 this guy, off the pitch in case of a thrown rock <laughs> Obviously no, no. I put I put stand firm on the on the LOS just so that there was no chance at all of a, of a one turn. Um, because you know he, even with eight players, movement eight, sidestep, he could have done. He could have he could have scored a one turn, but um, against against three stand firm, he should have made this three dice. Um, he could have easily made that three dice, but didn't. But yeah, you know, he's probably really, he was probably really, really kind of pissed off at this point, wasn't he? Even making the rage foul here. Which, you know, it, look, it's not, that's not a bad play at this point. He needs, he needs to get lucky to stand a chance, doesn't he? And, uh, failing both of your KO rolls is not the way to get lucky. <laughs> so now, <laughs> now he's got nothing. Um, yeah, maybe it was a desperation foul. Yeah, maybe it was a good strat. You know, if he makes a cast there, he's he's in with more of a chance. But now, now, it's over. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not technically over, but yeah, it's over. Um, and and didn't even need Claw to do it. Just just a bunch of mighty blow and piling on, and uh, yeah, unlucky unlucky KO rolls. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. <laughs> Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? And I mean, oh, double skull. D double skull just for good measure. 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean, as long as I don't play stupid now, <laughs> it should be it should be a certainty. So I really tried to. Uh, <laughs> I really tried to play as sensibly as I could from this point. You know, try to take no risks and stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, I had a reserve foul, did absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's true, Stotty. So it was it was definitely a rage foul, yeah. <laughs> uh, although actually, um It was a guard stand firm guy, so maybe he thought that was worth it. So yeah, you know, obviously just there's nothing to it now, is there? It's just hit with mighty blow. Choke him, choke him with guard as much as I can because I do have a man, I do have the man advantage and strength advantage, uh, I, and I learned from my mistake and put the uh, tackle guys on the sidelines this time to stop uh, to stop skink potatoes or at least reduce the odds of stick skink potatoes, and I thought uh, you know let's be super conservative here, keep the runner back because I don't need to score do I? I just need to win one nil so keep the runner and the troll slayer back to cover to cover skink breaks. That was uh, I thought that was fair. Actually, is I did leave the oh, middle a little bit open here, didn't I? If he got a push there, he could have run through without any rolls. As it is, he fails the one in nine and gets cast. <laughs> Brutal. But I mean, it was stand firm here, so he did need a pow there. He did, he did, he did need a five plus to uh, to break through there. Just hit a skink with my evil. Just kill the skink. See, people say just kill the skinks, but if you kill the saurus and crocs, that works out better. <laughs> Yeah, he went for the blitz because he's moving three. I mean, moving three, three squares away. Whereas he was four, so he just made the mark. So that was fair. Get another removal. Played super safe with him. And him. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's running back, but I, I don't want to overcommit. I just want to make sure he, he breaks get covered, don't I? Yay. Having some tackle guys, pretty useful against Kings. Re incredibly useful against Kings, to be fair. Was that was that a break tackle dodge? No, it was just it was just a dodge. Fair enough. I think he was trying to do something, but it wasn't gonna <laughs> wasn't gonna work, was it? Not the way. And now it now getting lots of hits. And uh, I probably shouldn't have made that block. Actually, I probably should have chained the skin on for another another hit. Um, oh wow, another cast. Brutal. Oh, I get three dice now. Okay, maybe that's why I did it in that order then. And that, that wasn't even Mighty Blow, that was just a rookie getting a Kaz. Outrageous. This is a bit of a bit of a crap push. Ah, oh, but I got a stand firm. Maybe I could have re-rolled that, but it would have been greedy, wouldn't it? It wasn't really game game changing, I didn't think. Okay, and keep these guys back just in case. Yeah, I did actually go a bit, leave the sides a bit exposed, didn't I? Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have kept my guys out of the sides. He can't stop me hitting him. <laughs> so, it's alright, isn't it? 
safe moves first. I could have even maybe tried to chain somebody somehow. Maybe I thought about it and decided that I couldn't. Another armor break. Pretty is, I was really lucky this game. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. So yeah, double GF fight to hit. Got to use rerolls here, haven't you? Actually, blitz from that angle, forgetting he had sidestep. Well, I, no, I knew he had sidestep. Ah, so he couldn't get ahead of me. Yeah, that's right. If I if I'd hit from here, he could have gone there, and he could have just three plussed away. Whereas this way, he had to uh, he had he could have sidestepped back to be away from me. But he he wouldn't just have a straight dodge through. So that was why I hit from that angle. Yeah, because I knew I couldn't surf him. Wasn't a mistake. Just looked like it. So he gets he gets the pick up. Very good. And now, um, now it's all plain sailing, isn't it? He does. He does go for the uphill, and dodge saves the <laughs> saves him. Thank God. That's probably some. I was gonna. I was gonna surf this guy. It was a way to surf this guy for sure. But um. Maybe not this term, not on next turn, but you know, whatever it was, I just thought let's let's not try to surf anybody. Let's just try it and make the ball safe. <laughs> Be super boring, super boring, super safe. No rerolls here, even just in case somehow he gets the ball and it goes to overtime. I just thought no rerolls. You know, don't use any rerolls. Just keep it completely and utterly safe as possible. Yeah, chase cam follows the drive. Yeah, that was that was the idea. So it follows who received, not who gets the ball. Uh, but um, could change it. Now, I was I was trying to I was trying to lock down the Saurus as best I could while still stopping the Skinks from having a shot at the ball. It wasn't easy, really. Uh, but then he, you know that I, I I could really have surfed this guy now could could and maybe should have surfed him because he's the only real threat to to like me winning the game. Um, but in the end, I think I would have needed GFI or two, so I was like, screw it, let's forget, let's forget going for that. What would I have needed? One, two, three, four, GFI. One, two, three, four, double GFI I would have needed to surf him. So, I didn't. Because, I don't know, maybe that should have done. So, but after, after saying I wanted to be really safe, I wanted to pass it to the splitzer now because he's on 50 and there's a long beard on 15 so I figure if I pass it to him he's it's more chance of the pass working and then I've got two rerolls for the handoff um you know so because I didn't want I didn't want to pass to agility too and caught it on a three anyway so thank god I did pass it to him so that worked out great so yeah that leveled him up on 51 and <laughs> the long beard. I move there in case I uh, in case I fail to catch it. I don't have another chance. But yeah, I mean he's given up at this point, hasn't he? And the game is completely over. It's just whether I can whether I can skill up. Jelly old people's champ. And he does make the pick up and scores. Glorious. So that was a That was a hell of a match, wasn't it? Got incredibly lucky murdering. Murdering the hell out of him. 14 armor breaks to two. He did make a Kaz with his first block. Which uh which was 
disconcerting. But yeah, he nearly made as many blocks, you know, and and most of those will have been with Mighty Blow. So really, just you know, just good dice, well rolled. Um, his dodges were about average. His go for it's run point. Not that he, not that he cares about that. <laughs> um, and my go for it's run point. And uh, yeah, it was that was that was just the big thing, though, wasn't it? It was just the armor breaks. The armor breaks were insane, and you know, chaos and Kaz. So that's the team now, seventeen ninety, um, and about to play my semi final against Pupok. And I don't know what to pick on these guys. Um, the runner, I rolled. He rolled the dice, and I was like, I'll take block for sure, and then rolled double six. So he might get strength. Um, this longbeard got a double, so I don't know. I don't know what to roll on take on him. And uh, and this runner, I just think got a normal. Oh no, ten. He's not going to take movement. Um, maybe he could take Fend to go on the LOS or something, but yeah, pretty, pretty, looking pretty good now. So in in the semi final against uh, against Chaos. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.